This is the website for Spotify. Spotify.com. And you can get Spotify for free or you can get Spotify Premium. Let me explain the two. Spotify for free is great on a desktop. There are loud, obnoxious commercials that you may want to mute when you hear them. And I would just, you know, mute the ad. I used Spotify uh, free for a long time before I upgraded to Spotify Premium. You're able to play your playlists in any order you would like, again, like I said, with some limited commercial interruption. But if you try to use your phone to control the music on Spotify and do not have a premium, you will have to listen to the playlists in random order. And that was not okay for me because I got to where I wanted to control the music with my phone remotely. My, I have my music running through Bluetooth, a Bluetooth receiver, into my sound system, and then I'm able to use my phone to communicate with the Bluetooth receiver and send my music that way. So, I use Spotify Premium now. Spotify Premium is a great service. Like I said, no commercials. I'm able to use my phone. I don't have not tied to a random order of music on my phone. And I can also use the computer just like I could with Spotify Free. So let's take a look at Spotify, the program itself. Once you've installed it, this is what you're going to have. You will not have it populated with all of this music like I do, but you will have playlists that you can look at and I have here Steve's greatest hits I've got super nerd the Beatles all kinds of different playlists that you can listen to. now the nice thing about Spotify is you can categorize your playlist or kind of make folders I have here a school list that is where all my school playlists are and here they are I have a future welcome song playlist those are songs that I'm looking at using for my welcome list this coming year I have a welcome to class list, 16, 17. These are the songs I used last year. And in fact, this is the list that I probably used most frequently, almost every day for every class period. And by the way, the same songs. Here's how this playlist works. When the dismissal bell rings, I play, start playing I Love Rock and Roll, either right at the dismissal bell or shortly after it. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air will end as the tardy bell is ringing, which takes us right into the song Superman by Laszlo Bain, also known as the theme to Scrubs, also moves straight into the cave, Mumford and Sons. So after the tardy bell, I have two songs that run for a total of about seven minutes. That is our warm-up time. I give about seven to eight minutes to get a warm-up done. So our warm-up is taken care of during those two songs. And during the Superman song and the Cave song, I am able to check roll and take care of classroom and class period business that needs to be taken care of. It is a great system because when you do it every day, the students become used to it and they automatically know that when they hear the song Superman, that it's time for warm-up. So if I'm for some reason late walking into class by a few moments I will always hear students going it's time to get to work that's the warm-up song and they're right it is the warm-up song and it is time to get to work they recognize it and they do it because it is a routine and a ritual in my classroom in addition to this playlist which I will make available to you on the in the section down below you can just click on it and use this same playlist in fact I will make all of my classroom playlists available and I'll look at even making this entire library shareable so that you can just use the entire library I have. I will not change the Welcome to Class 16 and 17 list, so you don't have to worry about that. If you want to use this list as is, it will stay the same. Now, in addition to the Welcome to Class list, I have a student choice list made each year. If your students choose music, be sure to preview the music. You do not want to lose your job because you're playing music that you haven't pre-screened. And some of the titles I've been given by students and some of the music I've been given by students to listen to would cause me to lose my job if I played them in class. 
So be aware of that. Take care and be very cautious and play only what you have previewed. A little side note to that is most every song that is explicit has a clean version as well that you can also find. I have 1940s, 1950s, 70s, 80s, and 90s music for Throwback Thursday, and I have a few other things that we use in class. Now, I use timer songs in our class when we have tasks and assignments that are chunked and put into different grouping. This is the list I use for that. Mainly Dwayne Eddy songs because I don't think he does anything much over three minutes. And that really is about as much time as we need for any single task in my class during the day. And I'll say something like, you have until the end of the next song. You have until the end of the second song. You have until the end of this song to be done with this assignment. That way they know that when the song ends, that part of the assignment is over. I also have a list of Baroque music. I told you about how Quantum Learning really talks about the benefits of using Baroque music in the classroom at an almost indetectable volume. It is amazing. It will drop the overall conversation and chaos noise level in your classroom at least five to ten decibels. Just playing it where they can barely hear it and they won't even realize that they're being quiet. It's almost like a miracle. There you have it. These are the things I use in class and you are more than welcome to use them. Again, like I said, they're down below. If you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments. If you like this format, we will do it again. I enjoy learning with you, I enjoy teaching with you, and together we can take over the world.